everyone, I'm here today with another video. Um, this one is another tutorial. Um, a friend of mine who was recently on a design team with me um, asked me to come up with a box for A2 size cards. Um, I've done the 3x3 box with the 3x3 note cards inside and also done a 4x4 um, this is my little prototype that I did um, I've only made two of the 4x4 cards and decorated them but I've already uh, given them away a friend of my mom's uh, bought them to give to some of her friends. So this is just made out of copy paper, but this is what the 4x4 looks like. Um, so if you guys want um, a tutorial on this one, just leave a comment asking if I get a few comments, I can do a tutorial for this one too. It's really simple. Um, this is the A2 size box and it took probably about 20 minutes to figure out. Um, I did another copy paper prototype. Um, I don't like wasting cardstock, so I usually use the copy paper to try to come up with it and then use the cardstock. So this one I made uh, for Caleb. Whoops. And um, he can just put some of his cards in here. He thought it was really cute. He picked out the paper. So it will fit. Let me grab a couple of cards and I will show you that it will fit. Um, here is the A2 size envelopes and they fit right in there. And then here's three, even with dimensions on them. And those fit nice in there too. So I'm going to do the tutorial and show you how to make this box. Um, and this is what you need. You need two pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Um, whatever color you choose is fine. This one is going to be a Halloween themed one, um, so we can put our Halloween cards in it just for fun. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut one piece of cardstock um, at eight and a half by nine and three quarter inches. Then you're going to take that piece and you're going to score two inches on all four sides. This is going to be the bottom of the box. So then you're going to let's score the other one so we get all the scoring done. Then your top piece is going to be six and five eighths by seven and seven eighths. So kind of weird dimensions, but this is how it works. Um, this one you're gonna score at one inch on all four sides. So there's your score marks, all four sides. Okay, so we're done scoring. We're gonna put that away. Now I'm going to fold the score lines. Increase them with my bone folder. This is the top piece right here. So then they're folded and now we're going to cut our little notches out 
So these corners here are going to be the tabs for the box. I'm going to cut in and then I'm going to cut at an angle for that flap. And we're going to do this two times on each side. So it looks like that. And we're going to flip it over and do the same thing over here. And this side. Then we have that side. And in order for this box to stay for a long time, um, I have used just my ATG gun to put it together, but since I know this one's going to get wear and tear from Caleb, I'm going to go ahead and use score tape. I'm going to place it on these tabs here, and I'm just going to put a couple of small pieces, and I'll show you. So just like that on the tabs, and I'll do all four of them real quick. This is just so if he's messing around with it or something or if, you know we end up using it a ton it won't come apart a black piece. And then it's basically going to be the same process for the bottom piece. So I'm going to peel these little tabs off. And I'll peel this side. So then we're just going to tuck it in and line up this edge here. And then push it down really well. And we'll do this side. And that's going to form the top of the lid. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna line that edge up there. Rub that. So there is our lid. And like I said, it's going to be the same thing for the bottom. So I'm just going to fold these. cut the same way and it doesn't matter what side you cut on like you can cut with your short side or you can cut with your long side as long as it's just one of the um, flaps on each side you don't want to cut anything else take this notch out just because it's easier to fold it in so it doesn't get caught on the bottom. It just folds in more smoothly. Okay, 
So there's that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna flip it over. So this would be the box. But you wanna flip it over and put your score tape or um, the red sticky tape or whatever you use that's pretty strong, um, especially if you're gonna give it as a gift or you know you're gonna use it a lot. Um, like I said, I've made several of them with just the three by threes with just the ATG gun and they are holding up fairly nice. Actually, my mom has one and it hasn't come apart. Um, I have one that I use that I showed at the beginning of this video and I use it for um, little notes for my kids in their backpacks or lunches or whatever and it's still holding up. So, um, But as a gift, I would definitely do something that could hold it a lot better just because if you give it to someone who's not a crafter, they may not be able to um, put it back together if it comes apart, whereas, you know, I have all the stuff in my room to do that with. So, no biggie to me. So, just stick these down. And it's going to be the same way as the top. Just tuck it in and try to line it up. Push it down. Do the next flap. And the last two flaps here. So this forms the bottom of the box. There's the bottom and there's the top. So then you can proceed to decorate the box however you want. Um, you can also use uh, pattern paper um, to make this. You could use a double-sided cardstock like a thicker one. Um, and then you wouldn't have to do much to it and the inside would be decorated also. This one, I'm going to, I'm just going to decorate the sides and I'll, I'll give you the dimensions to do the top, but I'm not going to do the top yet because I'm not sure what I want to do to it. So I'm going to tell you the size of the pieces for the bottom. I've already cut them out to save some time. So you're going to need two pieces um, that are cut at 5 and 5 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths and that's if you just want an eighth of an inch border around. So I'm going to use my ATG gun for this just to glue these papers on. here on the side and normally I I decorate the the size before I put the box together but I totally forgot to do that this time so there's one side I'll do the other papers that I'm using for this one are it's uh, K and Company it's an old Halloween set. It's, um, it's the Spooktacular. So I think it's a couple of Halloweens ago. I'm not really sure. So I'll just line that one up. So there's the two sides. And it kind of looks yellow in the camera to me right now, but this is a lime green, so. Hopefully it doesn't 
look yellow totally. Um, now your next two pieces for your other sides are going to be um, four and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And you need two of those. It is a lot easier to actually put these on these side panels before you put the box together. So there is the bottom of the box. It'll look like that. And then the top pieces um, on the side are going to be, you're going to cut two pieces at five and three quarters by seven eighths. And that's going to be the longer sides. So this one's a little tricky. So then there's one of the side pieces, and we'll do this side. Trying to get it straight here. I'm looking at it sideways. Well, that went on a lot easier. That's why this is so much easier to do before you put the box together. But oh well. <laughs> so there's the other side. And then the smaller side pieces are going to be. Two of them cut at four and a half by seven eighths for the shorter sides. one and then the last one on this side and this is just how I do it like you don't have to do it like this you could have your sides be a quarter of an inch smaller or whatever you want to do you could do more layers if you want and I just put it on its side and just give it a good rub on the inside to make sure that it's stuck down. So then we have the lid and the bottom done. Now the top, I do like to layer the top. Like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do on the top of this one and decorate it. I have some chipboard pieces that go to this little collection and some other stuff. so. I kind of have to think about what I want to do, but I did take a white piece. I cut it at four and a half by five and three quarters, just as my base piece for the top. So that'll go there. 
And then I have another piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this will be your your um, your basic A2 size um, that you would make the base of your card out of. But I'm going to put that right there. But I don't know if I'm going to add a ribbon or if I'm going to add um, twine or things like that. But that's kind of how I plan on doing the top. And like I said, I have some of these chipboard pieces um, and a little spider button to put. I have some of these ghosts. I don't know how I'm going to decorate it. But that is how you put the box together. So I hope you guys enjoy and make some of these. And they're really cool because giving this as a gift with A2 size cards, at least the A2 size cards you can put in the mail. Um, so these would be nice to give away. Um, I think I'm going to do like a Christmas one and put uh, Christmas cards in it pretty soon. So that way who when I give it to... Um, person that I make it for, they will get it before Christmas. That way they can give out the Christmas cards that go inside of it. So that is the A2 size box tutorial. Um, I hope you guys try it out. I hope you like it. Leave me some, some comments. Let me know what you think and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!